library? Oh my god, dude. Hey, what's up, guys? Cerebro here, and today we're gonna piss our pants a little bit. <laughs> okay. So, essentially, let me give you the background story on this game, Outlast. In 2014, this game, Outlast, came out, and it was absolutely terrifying. I was in college at the time, downloaded the game, played it in my dorm, by myself, lights off, and found myself jumping out of the chair, breaking my controller, and turning my PS4 off. And I don't mean turning my PS4 off by holding down the button, hitting turn off ps4 no i mean like literally running over and unplugging the goddamn cord this game is absolutely terrifying and for some odd reason i thought it would be hilarious to watch me piss myself as i play this game in a youtube series that we're calling outlast part one now if you guys don't know there are three outlast games there is outlast outlast 2 and then the newest one as you can see on my screen is outlast whistleblower so we're going to be going through outlast just the first game that came out in 2014 and we're just going to go through the first game and see how it goes now as you guys will see i am going to be pissing my pants the entire time jumping out screaming don't judge me okay if the videos are received very well in this series i will go ahead and play the next outlast but i need you guys to let me know if you think it's funny as hell watch me play this game by subscribing, liking, or commenting below. Um, just letting me know like, hey, we thought it was funny as hell to hear you scream like a second grade girl. For you guys that don't know, if you want to follow this series, you can actually go to my channel, go to my playlist, and it will pull up as the Outlast Part 1 series or whatever the hell I name it. Something with Outlast. So that way, if you guys subscribe to the channel, you can go to the playlist and then you can pull up the playlist and you can see all of the Outlast gameplay that I have. So, without further ado, let's do it. <laughs> Department of Agriculture Commissioner Salazar said changing weather patterns okay. were to blame for so, behavior. We're in a car. I got a badge. That means I'm important. And if you're out late tonight, you hey, 107.9. Kiss FM. Services, services will be spraying for an infestation of box elder bugs. All right. So that is that is uh on oh, my radio. I lost signal. I lost signal. Mount Massive Asylum. No, that's cute. And my car is almost on E? He didn't fill up the tank? Oh, okay, so we got a folder. You don't know me. We have to make this quick. They might be monitoring. I did two weeks of software consult at Murkoff Psychiatric Systems facilities in Mount Massive. All sorts of NDAs I'm very much breaking right now, but seriously, fuck those guys. Terrible things happen there. Don't understand it. Don't believe half the things I saw. Doctors talking about dream therapy going too deep. Finding something that had been waiting for them in the mountain. People are being hurt and Murkoff is making money. It needs to be exposed. So I'm an investigative journalist. And I only brought one fucking pack of batteries. I couldn't see what my badge said. I don't get out of the car. Nope. No. No, get back in. Get back in. Get back in. Ah! <laughs> Objectives are updated in your reporter's notebook containing your notes. All right, let's check out our notes. I have no notes. I have... Okay, so this is the document. It's R1. Oh, I got something in my notebook. I'm writing notes. Okay, what does it say? I start feeling sick just looking at this place. It's shut down amid a scandal and government. It was shut down amid a scandal and government secrecy in 1971. Reopened by Murkoff Psychiatric Systems in 2009. 
under the guise of a charitable organization. Cell phone reception cut off abruptly a mile out. More like a jammer than a lost signal. Oh, I'm going back in the car. The Murkoff Corporation has a long track record of disguising profit as charity, but never on American soil. Whatever they thought they could get out of this place it has to be big. Might finally be the story that breaks those bastards. Oh man, that's not right. All right, I guess I'm. Uh, I guess I'm just going sh straight up. Why are there military cars here? These look like military cars. Why is it telling me to run already? Do I go in the front door? Is this the telecom? Hello? Hello? Nothing? I can't see anything. Alright. Um, let's go around. Oh, there's a window open. Let's see if we can get up in that window. There's gotta be a way. Oh, a ladder right here, right here. Okay, a ladder. Okay. Stop it. noise there's too much noise oh sh <clears throat> stop 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 how how do I get night vision oh uh okay okay there's a door okay Hello? Hero? Hero? Stop! <laughs> Stop doing that shit! What is this? Turn the TV off! Turn it off! Classified documents. Thank you. All right, so All right, so this looks like it's a case So our patient's name is Billy oh, oh god, Jesus uh, Consultant date 2009. He's 19 years old male Physician was dr. Carl Houston Patient claims to have progressed to self-directed lucid dream states. Yeah. Morphogenic engine activity observed at unprecedented scale. Continuing stage 4 hormone schedule. Diagnostics. Spirometry revealed no bron bronchial. Spirometry revealed no bronchial accumulation. Hematocrit. Hematocrit centrifuge. Hematocrit centrifuge, hematocrit centrifuge again failed to separate erythrocytes. The hell? Highly worris, wor <laughs> highly worrisome. MRI revealed arrhythmic REM and our MRI revealed arrhythmic REM and REM cycle. Laughter in NREM state. Oh Jesus, we got a, we got a fucking a laughter. We got a jokester. Billy asked about the status of his mother's lawsuit against Murkoff and the asylum. This represents a catastrophic breach in security, despite Billy's claims that he's discovered the truth in the blood dreams of Dr. Traeger. No, the only Traeger on company records, one Richard Traeger, is an executive from MRD. All orderlies and security personnel must be questioned and video security improved to include analytical biometrics. All right. So we got Billy the laugh the laughing 
So we got Billy the Laughing Goon. He's 19 years old. Fuck that. I'm leaving these doors open. Hell yeah. Stop. Get, stop it. St stop. Oh, hell no. Not in the bathroom. Uh... Okay. There's blood everywhere. And I'm I'm leaving blood print. Oh man. Somebody must have ate his lunch. What? I hope to god that shrimp. Don't tell me I gotta oh I gotta climb in here? Bruh. What are you doing, Billy? I'm not digging this shit at all. Alright, let's get away from Billy. Library? Oh my god, dude. a little bit heart racing heart racing <laughs> okay all right some guys just hanging out get it get it come on man just die they killed us you got out the various you can't at least heads? Die. Can unlock the main doors from security control. Alright. Alright. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying to get the fuck out of here. Why do I hear somebody? Yo, his breathing does not help me right now. Little face. Stop, 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 stop. Come on, dude. And who are you then? I I see. Merciful God, you have sent me an apostle. Guard your life, son. You have a calling. Help me, Baldy. got thrown by a four-ton baby. Uh, new objective, escape the asylum. I just got here. Should have told me that when I wanted to go back in the car. Alright, there's new notes. I'm inside. Bodies everywhere. I'm inside. Bodies everywhere. Blood, burn marks, heads lined up the bottles behind a bar. Dead Murkoff scientists hung from the ceiling. Their badges say Murkoff Advanced Research Systems. Murkoff's longtime MO has been to profit off the exploitation of supposed charity, fuck the third world, and bankroll another billion. Now that sounds like a lot of companies. How did Murkoff think they would make money off a building full of crazy people? There's some kind of tactical cop pinned like a pig on a spit. Tell me to get the fuck out and it dies. <laughs> would have been a good thing to hear when I could have still leave the way I came. Yeah, tell me about it. Okay. 
So now we need to uh, just ignore those that don't have heads. Uh, okay. If I would have saw all this through a window, I would have not gone in. You know what I mean? Okay. Oh. Documents. Okay, so Murkoff Corp. United States Office. Warrant for seizure case number. Okay. So affidavits, affidavits has, okay, so, so, okay, so according to this catastrophic security failure of a psychiatric center with imminent danger of environment contamination, okay, you are hereby required to grant MHS full access to facilities and surrender complete authority to its agents by acceptance of this document. You and any surviving relatives surrender all claims of litigation against the Murkoff Company or its subsidiaries for actions of MHS or the circumstances which require their actions, regardless of responsibility. Okay. Alright, these ones are boarded up. Follow the trail of papers. Follow the trail of... Bro, if I see somebody, I'm going to freak out. This way? Stop! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! I'm not going that way. Nope, not going that way. Hero? Hero? There's too many doors. Too many doors. Oh, got killed while he was on the poo-poo. That's not cool. All right, let's see what's in the food pantry over here. Or whatever the hell this place is. Is there anything on here? Bruh. Oh, battery. Stop! The door. The door shut. The door shut. Do I open it? Hero? Hero? I don't like this corner peeking shit. Okay, I need a... What do I need? I need a key card. Okay, key card. Okay, so let's check out our document. Project Wall Rider on site inspection. The full report pending no immediate action is required on part of the Murkoff company. The four fatalities contain enough ambigu am the four fatalities contain enough ambiguous data to make any litigation if evidence is correctly managed impossible. So basically Project Wall Rider remains a danger to so basically, Project Wall Rider remains a dangerous initiative, and there will most certainly be further casualties as with others. However, family and government interest in the patients is so low as to make any chance of legal actions vanishingly unlikely. Violence among patients is increasing as the morphogenic engine therapy gets closer to producing working models, but a combination of physical and chemical restraints has proven sufficiently effective to assure continued control and profit. Wow, these guys are assholes. This is why we have the T-Virus. I'm all for making that money, but you know. Not at the expense of uh, crazy ass people like Billy. 
Stop. Why should we have to pay for it? Stop. Why do we have to die? Stop. The walker will kill us just for being sick. Excuse me, sir. Do you have a key card? Alright. Oh, yeah, I got notes. Alright, what notes? The witness. I'm already beat all to hell. Picking broken glass out of my scalp. Couple cracked ribs. Yeah, I'd put in my uh, I'd put in my one second notice there. Nearly killed by a deformed giant. Looks some looks like somebody tried to fuck start his head with a cheese grinder. What? He throws me through a wall and knocks me unconscious. I wake up in some duffy old man with a face like an alcoholic kitty fiddler in a homemade priest outfit. <laughs> Calls me his apostle, not a job I asked for. There are words scrawled in blood everywhere. I'm getting an ugly feeling in my gut that the priest is writing them and for my benefit? Oh, fucking Christ. Oh, man. Here's this guy with his wheelchair. Hello, sir? Sir? Please don't touch me. Please don't touch me. Please don't touch me. Please don't touch me. Uh, you look like you haven't been fed in a while. Don't worry, I'll go get somebody. Uh... The hell are you guys watching? Yo, what is wrong with him? Hey, can I put you on World Star? Huh? World Star? Oh, how do I crouch? Oh, a badge. Thank you. Good luck. So I got the key. Now I just basically need to go back in here. Say what's up to the homies. Just run, just run, just run, just run, just run, just run. Oh my god, he's following me, he's following me, he's following me. Oh my god. Okay, now I can get in here. This is the security room. Shut that damn door. Do I have anything? Oh, unlock main doors. Okay. Ha! <laughs> he typed security and brought up the security system. How convenient. Oh! He cut the fucking power. Oh, 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 hide, hide. Bro, he's coming. There's somebody coming. Stop. Oh. I thought that was my locker.
Yep. I'm just gonna stay in here. Fucking crawl space. Document. CIA hypnotic homicide? Oh boy. Okay. Subject, Hypnotic Experimentation and Research of 1954. On Wednesday, 1954, uh, Hypnotic... On Wednesday, February 10th, 1954, Hypnotic Experimentation and Research work was continued in Building 13 of the Mount Massive Preserve in Colorado using the following subjects. One, a so... What is it? A so... Uh... uh Number one, a post-thypnotic, post-thypnotic, I don't fucking know, of the night before pointed finger you will sleep was enacted. Mrs. Jackson and Pierce immediately progressed to a deep hypnotic state with no further suggestion. Miss Pierce was then instructed, having previously expressed a fear of firearms in any fashion, that she would be using every method at her disposal to awaken Miss Jackson now in a deep hypnotic sleep. And failing this, she would pick up a nearby pistol and fire it at Miss Jackson. She was instructed that her rage would be so great that she would not hesitate to kill Jackson for failing to awaken. Miss Pierce carried out these suggestions to the letter, including firing the gun at Jackson and then proceeding to fall into a deep sleep. After proper suggestions were made, both were awakened and expressed complete amnesia for the entire sequence. Miss Pierce was again handed the gun, which she refused to pick up or accept from the operator. She expressed absolute denial that the foregoing sequence had happened. Great. Fucking Stranger Things type shit going on. So basically, they're doing brainwashing. Or, I guess, controlling? Mind controlling? I don't know what you would call it. Is that a battery over there? Because I need batteries. Stop, stop it. Hello? Bro, I can't see shit. Turn on the two gas pumps and the main breaker to restart the generator. Alright, there's one. Or, oh fuck, I think he's following me. I don't know where to go. Okay, that's a, that's a dead end. Oh shit, I think he heard me. Here he comes, here he comes. Maybe not. No, 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 go back in.
I have to turn that other generator on. Oh, he's over there. Shit. Shit. I have to get this generator on. Ah, shit! Get the generator on. Oh! No, 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 no. Get out of here, get out of here, get out of here. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Stop it. No, no. Not today. Polo? No! I'm dead. Oh, I'm still alive. I'm still alive. Wait. Wait, where am I supposed to go? Ah, here we go. Haha. -ha. Why are you coming back? And I'm going for it. Going for it. Going for it. And I'm out of here. And we're out. We good. We good. We got power. They lied. They lie. What? Okay. No! I'm sorry, my son. I didn't want to have to do this to you. What? But you can't leave. Not yet. Ah! There is so much yet for you to. Oh my this. God! He's so ugly. Your you breast thing. Can you? Our Lord, the Wall Rider, terrorizes Are those police? truth into the unbelievers. The only one Bro, it's a ghost. The truth. Accept the gospel. Somebody don't piss Casper off. Open <laughs> you. What am I in? I'm in a, a padded room. My testicle still in place? Alright. Alright, look good. Remember that notes are only added to your notebook when your camcorder is raised to record events. I'm guessing I get notes. He did not kill his enemies. Rest in peace. Benny. Benny. Follow here. Rest in peace. Stop. Oh, he let me out. He let me out. Oh, I'm in jail. Okay. First impressions. Scary as fuck. Like, there are certain parts of this game where I feel like I know what's coming and I don't know what's coming. And that is absolutely the worst thing on the planet. So we're in an asylum, we're an investigator, we're basically looking for evidence to expose this company that's money hungry, we are dealing with patients that have PTSD, there's people doing self-mutilation on themselves, there is a big ass naked baby running around trying to throw me through walls, and on top of that I am stuck in the asylum and I'm trying to find my way out in Outlast. So let me know... <laughs> <laughs> So let me know what you guys think about this game. Is this game scary? Have you played it before? Did it give you nightmares? Because if so, I'm totally stopping all recording, all content. 
just kidding but for real let me know what you guys think comment below if you thought the gameplay was absolutely scary um let me know if you think me jumping out of my seat pissing about five feet away and if we should continue this horror series if you want to see me do more horror video games or if you have any suggestions let me know again subscribe to the channel so you can get the next video on part two of outlast I'm Cerebro, and I'll see you next time with a blankie and my binky. <laughs>